Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a makeup look and it is going to be inspired by Blackpink Jenny. She wore this look during the Chanel Pharrell launch party and oh my god, when I saw pics from this event, ya yeah girl Jenny be looking extra sexy so I had to recreate this. We're gonna start off with a foundation and this is just for evening out the skin tone. It's not going to be super high coverage so I'm using the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I love this foundation because it gives good coverage without ever looking cakey and it feels really light on the skin. We're moving into concealer now and I like to use my fingers to blend under the eyes for a more natural look. Some other places that I put the concealer are around the nose because I have a little bit of redness there. On my pimple friend that is visiting, and on the chin and forehead for some highlighting. We are going to set everything with a powder and I like to focus that on the center of the face. So mostly around the forehead and the brows, under the eyes, a little bit on the nose and down to the chin. Going into the brows now. The brows will always be a little bit of a journey. So today we are going to make them a little thick and straight, just like Jenny has it. Hers are very fluffy and they're not super sharp and defined, which I think gives a more youthful look. And now onto the fun part. Not that any of this wasn't that fun, but the more fun part. We're going to use the eyeshadow and I'm going back into the Naked 2 palette. So she has a very cool toned look and this palette is perfect for that. We are gonna take the first color, which is called Suspect, and we're gonna use a fluffy brush that came with the palette and place that all over the eyes and make sure to blend it as you go up toward the brow. Next, we're gonna use a color that is a little bit darker and is called Snake Bite. We're gonna focus this color closer to the lash line and also blend up, but make sure you still keep that Suspect color. Now we are going into the color Blackout and we are going to use this as an upper eyelid liner. The other end of this fluffy brush has a flat shader brush, so I like to use the tip of it to create a liner. I generally like to wing out my liner kind of thin and long, but Jenny's eyeliner here is a little shorter and thicker on the outer half. We're moving on to the bottom half of the eyes and we're going to take a pencil and line the waterline, mostly focusing on the outer half and really getting into that inner corner, really darken it up back there. Or in there over there in there once you have the eyeliner pencil set we are going to go back into the blackout shadow and use that to blend the liner out a little bit and the final step with the eyeshadow is going back into the color snake bite and using that to smoke out the bottom liner moving on to lashes now I know she is wearing falsies but I don't have falsies that look natural enough so I'm going to be using my Shiseido lash curler and my favorite mascara here so give your lashes a good curl starting from the root of the lashes and blending all the way to the tips. We're gonna go back into the eyeliner pencil real quick just to tight line the top waterline. Now going in with your mascara, I am focusing the length of the mascara mostly on the outer half. Kind of looks like her lashes kind of flare out at the ends a little bit more. So I'm pulling the lashes up and then I'm kind of going horizontally with it outward if you can see here. So up and then to the side. Next up are the cheeks, and it doesn't look like she has any bronzer or contouring, so I skipped all that completely. Moving right on to blush, I chose a more mid-tone cool pink. When you place the color of the blush toward the front of the cheek, I feel like it gives a little bit more of a youthful look, which is a nice contrast to the sexy smoky eye that she has. The pictures don't really show any type of highlight that she has, but I love my highlight, so I am going in a little bit with Max Soft and Gentle, a little bit on the cheeks, and of course, I cannot forget the nose. We are finishing off with the lips, and I'm going to be using a light pink matte color. This is ColourPop's Slide, and it is their ultra blotted formula. I love this formula and I love the way it gives your lips a natural pouty look. I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup look. Oh my god, I enjoyed every picture that I saw of Jenny from this event. She looked so good. So I'm really happy that a bunch of people took pictures of her because we got to see her at all angles. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!